To begin assembly of your new Bernini fountain, place the base of the fountain on a level, sturdy surface. After you have selected the perfect spot for your fountain, next you will need to attach the large bowl to the base. If you look at the bottom of the large bowl, you will notice two key tabs. These tabs fit into two corresponding cutouts on the top of the base. Slide the large bowl onto the base, then turn the bowl about a quarter turn clockwise to lock the bowl into place. Insert the cord of the water pump down the pipe of the large bowl. You'll notice a foam plug on the cord. Feed the cord into the pipe until it reaches the foam plug. Firmly press the foam plug into the pipe to seal the pipe from water leakage. Before proceeding, make sure that you have at least a 6 inch length of cord coming from the pipe in the middle of the bowl. This slack allows the pump to rest in the large bowl, fully submerging it in water, which will be added later. Next, you will install the fountain bowl. Just like connecting the large bowl to the base, you'll notice two key tabs on the bottom of the fountain bowl. These tabs fit into corresponding cutouts on the large bowl. Slide the fountain bowl onto the large bowl and twist a quarter turn clockwise to lock into place. Next, you will install the battery into your new Bernini fountain. At the base of the fountain, you will find the battery compartment. Inside the battery compartment should be three color-coded cords hanging down. Attach each cord to the battery according to its color. Insert the battery upright into the battery compartment. Insert the battery compartment door and slide closed. Your new fountain includes several decorative options, such as a flower bud finial, a self-watering flower pot, various dancing water tip attachments, and lovebirds. To use your flower bud finial top, begin by attaching the silicone tube to the fountain nozzle. Place the finial over the tube and lock into place using the key tabs. Place the silicone cap onto the extension tube. Press the extension tube down until it is level with the flower bud finial. If you are using the self-watering flower pot, first insert the desired number of spacers around the fountain nozzle in the middle of the fountain bowl. These spacers regulate the amount of water your plant will receive. More spacers will supply your plant with less water. Less or no spacers will supply your plant with more water. After potting your plant in the self-watering pot, place the flower pot on the top of the spacers over the fountain nozzle. It is important to note that this attachment does not lock in place. Now it is time to fill your fountain. Fill the large bowl of the fountain with water approximately three quarters of the way full. At this point, you can test your fountain to ensure everything is working properly. Press the C button on the control panel to manually turn the fountain on and off. Next, we will take a look at operating the control panel. You will notice the control panel located on the fountain base has an A, B, C, and D button. By pressing the A button one, two, three, or four times, you will be able to set the fountain to automatically run for one hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours with automatic shutoff. The B button function is the same as the 1 to 4 hour timer on the A button, except that the added feature of automatically turning your fountain on at the same time the next day for the same interval you selected. For a daily 1 hour operation, press the B button once. For a daily 2 hour operation, press the B button twice. For a daily 3 hour operation, press the B button three times. For a daily 4 hour operation, press the B button 4 times. The C button is used for manual on and off operation. Turns the fountain on and off without any timer. It can be used for extended run times, 
It is important to note that the fountain will run until the battery loses its charge. The D button is used to manually turn the LED light feature on and off. LED light features will automatically turn on or off whenever your fountain automatically or manually turns on or off, including any timer setting. On the control panel, you will also notice the LED status light. The status light will blink for a number of hours that you have selected when using the timer functions on the A and B button. To use your dancing water features, firmly insert the desired tip onto the fountain nozzle. These tips can be used by themselves or with the Lovebirds decoration. To add the Lovebirds to your fountain, simply place the Lovebirds piece over the fountain nozzle. This attachment does not lock into place. To stabilize your fountain, you have the option to fill the base with sand or gravel. First, remove the battery from the battery compartment, then fill sand to a level just below the compartment door. Replace the battery in the battery compartment and reinsert the battery compartment door. Your fountain may require minor leveling adjustments. Using the included shims, prop your fountain to the correct position, slide the shims underneath, and snap off any excess material. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your new Bernini fountain. For more information or customer service, contact us at www.berninifountains.com